What's up, everybody? Uh, Armbet has decided to do a full refund of all the athletes, of all the stakes, of all the athletes involved with King of Table 3. Um, there was a presumption about what the rules were going into the event with a lot of people. Perhaps some people were, um, were more aware that the, the rules potentially um, were not what they were for King of Table 1 and King of Table 2. However, uh, we feel that at this late hour, um, the, the fairest thing to do is to fully refund everyone and give you the opportunity to jump back in with uh, the new information because rules absolutely do matter. To some athletes, they don't matter. Um, to some matchups, they, they don't matter. But uh, to some athletes, they absolutely do matter. Um, some athletes train for certain rules. Some athletes just do better under certain rules. This is a reality. So with that in mind, um, I will do my best to update you now on, uh, to the best of my knowledge, what the rules are for King of the Table 3. And y'all can jump on over again if you want and, and get involved. Uh, a, a few a few changes. Uh, the first change is with the start of the match. So you have 30 seconds to negotiate your grip. At the 30 second point, previously, you would be immediately placed in the strap and you would move to the set grip, close the thumbs, close the hands, go. And from what I understand now, at 30 seconds, you will now be placed into a WAF ref script, um, which will be called with a go as well. Uh, so all rules applying to the WAF ref script are in place. Sl slips slips will also be in accordance with waf so any intentional slip will be called a foul as opposed to what we had so this is this is the one block of rule changes uh the other one is is a minor one it's a a, a well any rule change is is not necessarily minor but uh, it's a change to the running foul system. Uh, what we were previously working with was a WAL style running foul system. So if the one person fouled and if the other person fouled, the match would stop. And the first person who fouled would have the foul when they restarted the match. Um, now it is switched to more of, uh, I believe, the current Arm Wars style, where if one person fouls and then the other person fouls, then both people have the opportunity to then win the match. And the match does not stop. The match continues. Um, so that's what we have. Anyways, should be a great event tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, stay massive, everybody.